Hey guys, Idre here, and I'm sorry for my inactivity. It's been over a week since I uploaded my last video, which was a Green Day Worst to Best, and a topic that I'm quite passionate about. I have news that I have a video in the works right now of a Led Zeppelin Worst to Best. It'll be featuring my dad, because he's a big Led Zeppelin fan. I figured it would be a good time for us to do a collaboration. I haven't really brought up... Well, okay. I've brought up quite a bit on my Instagram, but I really don't feel like sharing my personal Instagram about what happened with George Floyd, the systematic racism, um, police brutality. I've made it clear to make make it clear to people that this my stance is I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to let, you know, stuff pass me by and me just put my blinders on so I can keep going with my YouTube channel. I'm not going to do that. So, um, I wanted to just make a quick video to say that people need to wake up. I mean... Uh, if it means me or many other creators not uploading as frequently because they're taking time to think, process what had happened and with all these issues facing the nation. And, um, quite frankly, I, I'm a very, in all honesty, I'm a very political person. I don't like getting too political on my media because I just simply think that, you know, I don't want to get in anybody's way. It's my views and that's it. However, I think with what happened with George Floyd which really just shines bright the uh, issues of police brutality and systematic racism that has been facing this country for decades, if not centuries. Um, I feel like I needed to do at least something to speak up on my channel. What happened was unjust. Anybody who defends it is, is no better than the, than the racists. They are. You know, It's annoying to me how there are still people who try to defend it, who people who try to avoid the fact that police brutality is an issue and the fact that police brutality heavily targets a specific group of people. The Black Lives Matter movement is happening for a reason. It's happening to stand up for those you know, that group of people that I mentioned which have been heavily oppressed for the past hundreds of years and continue to be. Oftentimes I feel in American schools we get taught that after the Civil War, you know, the slaves were freed. But things weren't perfect, so then Martin Luther King had to go on a nice peaceful protest for civil rights, and then after that, everything was great, and racism on a big scale was over. But that's just not true. I mean, between redlining, between many loopholes in the government, between just simply having racist leaders in power, goes to show you, it's still here. It's not just one person here or there. This is what the government is promoting. The fact that we have a president who, when people were out there peaceful protesting, he ordered them to get gas so he could clear ways so we could take a photo shoot is absurd. The fact that he would call the U.S. military, or at least he wants to call the U.S. military, on U.S. streets to, to you know, bring back normalcy. What is normalcy? I get it, alright? It's understandable why people would be concerned by the looters. But having a president tweeting... When you start looting, we start shooting, which is quoting an old segregationist, is not the answer. As bad as you may see looting as, as much as it may impact your business, which, you know, my condolences go out to the people who have lost their businesses or are facing, you know, issues. My condolences do not go out to the big corporations who could recover from this because they get millions of dollars from the government. But yeah, I'm just making this video, um to address this. But like I said about, you know, our president... I don't know. It's hard to put in a short video. Uh, I can go on a whole rant, but I really don't want to. Support Campaign Zero. I'll put a link to that down in the below. It's a really good campaign with a, a bunch, a bunch of instructions laid out of how we could help reduce police brutality by passing policy. Um, I get the defund the police movement. I think that some people that want to abolish police altogether are missing the point. However, the police are so heavily funded, yet so many other great organizations that actually help people are not. So, I'm not going to go too deep into this. I'm going to put most of my other thoughts that I didn't get through in the bottom. But at the end of the day, Black Lives Matter. We have a messed up dude in charge who isn't taking this seriously. He only looks at the few violent people out there and totally avoids talking about the actual issues and is proving that he's more of an authoritarian than anybody even thought. 
So that's about it for now.